name is Stacy, and now she's famous. She's the famous Stacy. Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to do French chocolate crepes, but we're going to do them in English this time, and it'll be really yummy. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to add is a cup and a half of self-rising flour. Oops, spilled a little bit. Next thing we're gonna add is two cups of milk, which I've actually warmed the milk in the microwave. That way, when I put in the butter, it doesn't coagulate. And it also eliminates the need to sit the crepes for an hour to allow them to get to room temperature before cooking them. The next thing we're gonna add is two tablespoons of melted butter. one half teaspoon of vanilla, and two eggs. And finally, one tablespoon of sugar. Now get your whisk, and we are gonna whisk it all together. And there's what that should look like. This is a crepe pan that I got when I was in France, but you don't have to use a crepe pan. You can use a frying pan, or an enchilada pan, or anything that's flat. A griddle can be hard because you want to be able to maneuver the batter around the pan as you'll see in just a second. I like to use butter because it tastes really good and then whatever I don't get with butter I spray with ham. The technique on this part is kind of what makes your very very pretty crepe. I've got my batter right here next to the stove so that I can bring my pan to the batter. I usually take a, use a third cup to, to measure. I don't fill it up all the way. But then I pour it onto my crepe pan and then I just swirl it around my crepe pan until it fully covers. I've had the pan on medium heat for a, a little while before I got started, before I put the butter in and the pan. So it's all already at the right temperature. Now what you're gonna watch for with the crepe is you're gonna be looking for it to look dry on the top. There'll be um, some bubbles, but it'll kind of just get a real dry look. And when it looks really dry is when it's ready. Okay, now it's looking, looking nice and dry. So I'm going to bring my little plate over here. My favorite thing to use is just a regular fork to get the crepe out. And just kind of go around the edges a little bit. And it should just fall out all on its own to a beautiful, gorgeous, delicious crepe. I'll usually use some wax paper if they're not gonna get eaten immediately, which in my house they usually get eaten immediately, but um, if I'm gonna save them, I use wax paper in between each one. This is how my family likes crepes. I like to take Nutella for the chocolate, spread it right down the center. Then take a little whipped cream. And for the 4th of July, you can take strawberries and blueberries and mix them up and put them on top. And it is a fun little breakfast or dessert. Mmm. Yum, yum. Mmm. Enjoy.